Good afternoon, everybody in Facebook land and beyond. It's Tammy Wendling here from the Downtown Bethlehem Association coming to you live today with a bit of a treat. We are going to bring Holly onto the screen from Bethlehem Historic District Association to talk to us today about the house tours. I know a lot of you have heard about the house tours. We've been sharing the link to purchase tickets, but some of you might not know about the house tours. So we're bringing Holly in today so that she can give us the down low on everything happening with these house tours. So Holly, welcome. Why don't you tell our Facebook friends who you are and what you do? Hi, I'm Holly Sochdev, and I have lived in historic Bethlehem for many years. Moved away for a little bit, but I had to come back because I love this area. And I'm very happy to help promote the house tour. It is our 10th anniversary, but we've been doing this for over 30 years because we don't do it every year. We do it about every three years. That's so incredible. this is a big deal. Absolutely. So Holly, the Bethlehem Historic District Association is comprised of people that love Bethlehem, who work and play and live in Bethlehem and all of the above. Um, what is the benefit of the house tours? Because I know there's a really cool component to why you do the fundraising. So why don't we talk about that? Well, the uh, BHDA is uh, comprised of the historic district, and it's the oldest district in Pennsylvania, uh, historic district. Um, and you all know we're kind of up the hill from the main street. And the house tour helps us raise money for not only a grant program that we have within our district to help people defray costs of sidewalk repair, replacement, tree repair, you know, grooming and replacement, but we also use the money that we raise from this house tour to help different associations in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. And this year, 50% of our proceeds are going to be uh, going to uh, the historic uh, Bethlehem museums and sites to help them defray the cost of the repair of the Gemeim House shutters, which was extremely expensive, and also to help with the uh, World Heritage uh, site, uh, status, which the city of Bethlehem is applying and it, it, the historic Bethlehem Museums and Sites is applying for. And Bethlehem deserves this. And we are very happy to help give 50% of our proceeds this year to make that happen. I love it. I love the Shutter program. And I also love learning about what you do for the residents in this area. I, I didn't know that, you know, proceeds would, you would never think to help repair a sidewalk. But I guess if you're the oldest historic district in Pennsylvania, uh, you want to make sure you're taking care of each other. <laughs> well, and also because so many people who come to visit Bethlehem as an historic place mm -hmm. walk our neighborhood. Yeah. And so we want to keep it as pristine as possible for them to have an extremely wonderful experience of a historic district and also stay downtown and shop. Absolutely. Love that component. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's talk about when people come and walk through the residential area of the historic district, that that area uh, where the gorgeous houses are that everybody knows about when they travel through town. So let's talk about the house tours. Let's talk about, uh, you know, let's pretend I've never been on one and I'm showing up for the very first time so that our viewers at home can kind of learn and walk through with you that experience. So let's walk through that. Well, you'll be starting at the sister's house, which is on Church Street, mm -hmm. and you will be picking up um, your guidebook, which is basically your ticket to the whole event, mm -hmm. and it will guide you, and it's a self-guided tour, so you don't have to go one, two, three, four, and there's 10 homes, All right. and if you, see, if you see a big line, go to another home, and you can also stop and go downtown and have lunch or shop or whatever mm -hmm. and come back. The event is 10 to 4. Okay, so there's a big window. Big window. Okay. And there are 10 homes that are going to be decorated to the nines for the holidays. They are gorgeous. Plus, you get four historic sites with this. So you have 14 places to visit. And the um, single sister's house, which is right next to, well, the Gamaim house, mm -hmm. which is also on the tour. And that's where the shutters are displayed right. on the outside. And Central Moravian Church. Mm -hmm. And in the church, uh, you will be shown a historic artifact. And I don't know what it's going to be, so it's going to be a nice surprise. And then there's God's Acre, which is in a very, very old uh, cemetery. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. along Market Street. And three graves will be featured, very important graves will be featured there for you to go in and see. So it's going to be a, a really nice, inclusive tour of our area. That is, that's a lot to see. Um, I, I did not know that it was so long of a period of time that you had to tour all of this. That's great. So when you go to the house, is like, can you walk through and, you know, Absolutely. be nosy and find out what's going on in these homes? <laughs> well, it's really ever a first, a first floor tour. Okay. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. That's good. And, sure. and you'll, be given, you'll be given little booties to put on because obviously we don't want to track things in. But that's and smart. Right. And there's usually some, uh, there have been different uh, businesses that have sponsored the homes and they have display, a small display inside of what they are sponsoring. Uh, so you can take information there and um, you will get to see these homes, you know, from the inside out. And it's just lovely to do this. Um, and people come in and it's all guided with docents. So, you know, nice. You will have you people who feel like you're walking into someone's yeah. house. <laughs> hey, no, I'm here. I'm you, here. Are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> but you you will have you will have people who are very knowledgeable about that home. Oh, that's, gonna be that's neat. So there's yeah. like a I guess uh since there's somebody there knowledgeable about the home. So you're gonna get to learn about the house the year exactly. it was built who may have lived there, um, what ghost may, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Different tour. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> well, exactly. But this so one is more about Christmas and the holidays and how, how these homes just look picture perfect, Hallmark card, uh, out of a storybook, gorgeous, <laughs> right? Exactly. Um, so as I said, you will, you will have an, in the guidebook itself, which you will have, and you can mm -hmm. obviously take with you, there is a quite a history that we have put together for each home. So that will also give you uh, a background of who has lived there, um, some uh, significant people. Um, so that's that's a really nice part of the guidebook. Fantastic. So let's quick tell our viewers at home how how much are tickets. How do we get them? I know we're close to selling out. So let's talk about that so people can quick grab some. Well, if you go to our bhda.org website mm -hmm. and scroll down, um, you will see where you can purchase the tickets right there. Perfect. And uh, that will be, you know, on your on your phone. And you can present that at the sister's house when you, you know, go in. And they're $35. Now, if there are any tickets left, which is highly unlikely, but if there are any tickets left and you can buy them at the sister's house, they're $45. So it's a significant saving if you buy them in advance. Absolutely. And I know George is paging through the, the page right now where you purchase. Uh, I saw a QR code there. I know in the link to today's broadcast, we do have the link to purchase tickets as well. So we have, every, anyone who's listening right now, just go and click on that link and get your tickets because I think it's safe to say it's going to sell out. You're not going to be able to get on the tour. Uh, you're going to try to show up and say, okay, I'll spend the extra $10, but it's not going to happen, people. I think uh, it's really safe to say, uh, you know, what uh, that these tickets are going to sell out. So we do have a question from Kelly. It looks like how far is the distance between the homes for those who might have trouble walking far? Great question, Kelly. So Holly, how, how far in proximity is all of this? Well, the historic district goes from, well, it goes from First Avenue, but there's no homes on there that are being viewed this year. So it starts up from Main Street mm -hmm. and it goes all the way out to Linden. So that's about five blocks. Okay. Um, the Some of the homes are close together mm -hmm. and some are a little bit farther apart. Um, but it's very easy walking. Once yeah. you get, once you get into the, our district, it's all level. Right. There's no right. hills or anything. So, um, and you can it can be a slow pace because you've got a lot of time yeah. to do this. And it, and it also seems for those further distances that if you have to hop in the car, you can to go to the next area or section of the district if need be. But it seems, I mean. Five Bethlehem blocks are not, they're not that long. Well, that's, that, that's just one way. There's like four blocks the other way. <laughs> okay. So, so nine blocks total in walking. So it's very, Basically. very easy walk. Very easy yes. walk. And, and there is parking um, at the Walnut Street 
parking garage. And there is parking at the North Street, which is farther away. Mm -hmm. um, there is parking in the district, um, but with 1,200 people coming in, that's that's not 1,200 people. It's, let me, yeah. Let me, how many cars? There can be parking on the street, but like Music Fest and all the other big festivals, you take your chance. Exactly, so. exactly. If you get lucky, I know I, I do you like the lucky. drive around the block about six times. <laughs> After the sixth, I'm like, all right, just get me into the garage. So, <laughs> so yes, good, uh, good, good feedback about the uh, parking situation. So yes, our friends at the um, Bethlehem Parking Authority have two lots in our historic district that you can park in again, Walnut Street and the North Street. But you're right, Walnut is closer. So for those of you looking for a place to park that don't want to drive around the block seven times, uh, utilize utilize those uh, garages. And then you don't have to worry about going over the meter or was exactly. there enough money put on the meter or did I download the app correctly or anything like that. That way you can take advantage of the entire chunk of time to do the tours. So that's right. great. That's great. And I know that the uh, the downtown is really geared up for that day. So anybody coming, go downtown. There's wonderful restaurants. There's amazing shopping. So take advantage of, of everything that the city of Bethlehem has to offer and come to our house tour. Absolutely. All right, Holly, thank you so much for joining us today. All of you on Facebook land, I hope that this was informative and I hope that you click on that link that is in our post somewhere. I don't know if it's above us or below us right now in the feed, but click on those uh, to get your tickets because they are going to sell out. They are so close to selling out. Uh, this is incredible. 1,200 people coming downtown just to view these homes and to walk the history that we have here. If you're looking for all the feels, you'll find it in 10 homes, four other added bonus locations, some artifacts, and uh, some great history right here, people. So get your tickets today. Holly, thank you so much on behalf of the Downtown Bethlehem Association. We love your partnership, and we're so thankful that you guys are members uh, with our association. So thank you for coming out today. Uh, everybody, thank you for joining in. I'm not coming out, I should say. <laughs> Logging on. Uh, thank you so much. And everybody, have a fantastic holiday season if we don't talk to you sooner uh, or later. Uh, take care, everyone. Holly, thank you again. Thank you, Tammy. All right, everyone. Take care. We'll see you soon. Get downtown. Bye.